Rex? What's Jim Rex? Would you believe a movie audience guide presented as a public service by this theater's management to help you select your motion picture entertainment? Well, that's what it is. And we urge you to learn these rating symbols and use them as a guide for you and your family. G means suggested for general audiences, all ages. M, suggested for mature audiences, parental discretion advised. R, restricted, persons under 16 not admitted unless accompanied by parent or adult guardian. X, persons under 18 will not be admitted. This seal in advertising indicates that the film was approved under the Motion Picture Code of Self-Regulation. Submerged for centuries, Atlantis, the lost continent, rises in mythological magnificence. It's a test of roar. Ladies and gentlemen, three to bed. Meet Serena conceived and spawned in a world beneath the waves. Mermaid majesty, drifting through dreamy depths. Fire in her eyes, love on her lips, desire in her heart. When will you mate? It is your destiny to mate with an outsider, not to love him. Underwater warriors in a savage struggle for survival. I will not sacrifice myself. You will mate! You will mate! Beyond dreams, beyond thought, beyond Atlantis, astounding the imagination, ravishing the senses. The siren of the sea, rising through rapture serene. Afloat on waves of pleasure. In a bed of pearls. The ancient army of Atlantis clashing with modern soldiers of science. Atlantis must conquer or die. A primeval princess leads her people from a kingdom beneath the sea to a blazing battleground above. Beyond Atlantis. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. I don't keep a cat or dog because they eat too much. Little kids bore the pants off me, and when I go to a ball game, I root for the visitors. I never cried at a wedding or a funeral. I never sent a Christmas card, and I cheated my wife, if I had the time. But I've got one soft spot. A man is innocent until proven guilty. The Lawyer. Hand over the cash. You son of a bitch! Slowly. Even an innocent girl becomes involved in the heinous crimes of robbery and murder. Get the hell out of here! Go on! Go! <laughs> Fugitive girls caught in a web of desire. Betrayed by her lover. Pimp killer. Dope smuggler. Bank embezzler. Lesbian, leader of the pack. An illicit love affair behind prison walls. Honey child, ain't no money in the world gonna make white trash. 
no more than white trash. Shut your big mouth, you black bitch. She's always bragging about the money she's got stashed away. Will you shut up? Bigotry, prejudice, and hatred in the Fugitive Girls. Dogs and guns, too. Let's get out of here. Sensational action followed. The Fugitive Girls. Desperate girls on a deadly mission. God damn you, ass girl. I'm beginning to think Sheila was right about you. Oh, I got a rest cap. My feet are killing me. Beat the brush, boys. I tell you, I saw footprints over that way. Those broads ain't gonna strike out across the swamp. Stick to Guns the trail. and dogs could not stop the fugitive girls. But the female charm can trap an unsuspecting victim. Their outward beauty hid the sting of a cobra. Hey, <laughs> what's a pretty girl like you doing miles from nowhere? This does. <laughs> Five girls against the world. It's a shame to mess up such a cute face. You keep your hands off white boys. You suppose that uh, there's a virgin in the bunch? <laughs> Even flower children cannot escape the terror of the fugitive girls. Beautiful. <laughs> Tell you what, you lay one finger on one of my girls, and I swear to God, I'll wrap this chain around your neck and shove it down your throat. Oh, good Christ, oh. a lesbian. The hit and run girls who held no fear. Vicious, powerful, mean, dirty, violent, hate-filled, dangerous, exacting, dynamite, death-dealing. Their vicious contempt knew no age limit. <laughs> An innocent housewife and her crippled husband became the victims of their lust. <laughs> Girls who fought the world as well as themselves. Look, you don't want to shoot me. Keep away from me, or I'll shoot. There's only one way of stopping them. That's if they find a body. Nothing could stand between these girls and their quest for freedom. The stakes were too high. Bloody, uncontrolled, spellbinding, blazing, merciless, relentless, demanding, ruthless. Prison was their school. Dynamic. Gigantic, lustful, a smashing, dashing, climatic, erotic adventure of escape and intrigue. The heights of violent screen entertainment action. See The Fugitive Girls, coming soon at this theater. Well, look who's here. When the action is too rough for one man, send for Savano's Seven. First of all, it's no ordinary cleanup job. Once we take out one of those bananas, we gotta wipe out the rest of them in 30 minutes. If we're gonna get this thing done, we're gonna get it done quick. Savano's Seven. The Playmate. The Black Belt. The Dragster. The Comic. The Professor. The Indian. The Cowboy. Seven. Death is their way of life. Seven.
This bison calf will be abandoned by its mother and left to die unless it can rise to its feet almost immediately after birth. The similarities between chimps in the wild and man in society are incredible. These chimps play together, work together, and even kiss goodnight. During the mating season, the male frog will hold his mate with such force that she will be permanently scarred. While still a fetus, this tiny kangaroo must leave the womb and grope its way unaided across its mother's belly to her pouch. If it falls or falters, it will die. Now, David L. Wolper presents Birds Do It, Bees Do It. The intimate story of animal courtship, mating, and family instincts throughout the world. Due to the explicit nature of this film, it will never be shown on television. Because it is an important family experience, we urge you to see it with your children. Birds do it, bees do it. Incredibly beautiful, occasionally shocking, and always the truth. Get back, Jack, and step aside. He's the baddest mother in 75. How'd you like to make $20,000? Hang on, baby, if you can. You're going for a ride with the Candy Tangerine Man. Buried within the uncharted depths of waters surrounding a group of islands off the 50th parallel lies man's most formidable challenge. The awesome awakening of prehistoric monsters long thought extinct. Science was baffled and powerless. A terror-stricken humanity knew that it was on the brink of total destruction. The once proud civilization now had to place its trust and hope in Godzilla and his powerful ally, Robot Man. In concert, they would fight this evil in a duel to the death. Battling by day, battling by night, it was more than a race against time. This war was an all-out effort whose ultimate purpose was to save our planet from total destruction. Now came the moment of truth. The ultimate battle. Titan against Titan, giant against giant in the most spectacular battle yet. To see it all in Godzilla versus Megalon. His name is Hook. And they swallowed his bait. Jim Brown is Hook. He rips off the mafia for a million five. But his line gets snagged. And now he's in the slams. Face front, hold the card on your chest. Memorize your CPI number, stencil it on all your possessions. Jim Brown is Curtis Hook, the man with a million on ice, the big dream. Look out, Holmes! If he can live to spend it. We want the dope, Hook. 
and the money. There you go, singing the same old song, Sergeant. Your civil rights will be protected to the full extent of our capability. <laughs> The slams, a thousand times worse than any ghetto. Come on, you hockey suckers. A battleground where desperate men sell their souls to stay alive. <laughs> There's a contract out on you, Hook, and I've got it. The organization wants their money. Now you listen to this, Capiello, and you listen right. But if you kill me, that's the end of it. Hook! <laughs> The hook wants out, real bad. But who could he trust? You either cooperate with me, I'll have your boyfriend in a padded cell. The brothers, they stick together and help each other. Nobody can handle it all by themselves in the slams. I want a tough man like you to give me some leverage with the brothers. A million five. That's cool, baby. But what wait, good wait, is wait, a wait. trunk full of bucks oh! when your life ain't worth a dime? The slams, savage men in an iron jungle where only the strong survive. Jim Brown is Curtis Hook, the man who wants out from the slams. Have all four officers report mid once with their floor plans and escape SOPs. Full scale lockdowns with further notice. We're gonna keep him inside. But would he pay the price? A million or his life. Watch out for the hook caught in the slams. <laughs> the most terrifying form of evil is that which lurks within the human mind. <laughs> Asylum, the ultimate in horror. This is a, an asylum for the incurably insane. Asylum filled with stark raving terror. <laughs> From Robert Block. Author of Psycho. <laughs> Asylum. <laughs> the prison of madness where few enter and none return. <laughs> Asylum, you have nothing to lose but your mind. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. The Grissom Gang, it's a love story. I ain't got you, I don't care what happens. Slim, I'm not worth dying for. Haven't you ever loved nobody? Not like that. Nobody's ever loved me like that either. But it wasn't always that way. <sighs> Look at you, you're filthy and you smell. Do you really think I'd let a cretinous half-wit like you touch me? Why don't you call me? <laughs> Do you really think I'd let your boy lay a hand on me? What you trying to do up there, Ma? Make a man out of Slim? After we get the dough? Kill a girl. My Ma wants you dead. Slim, I'm begging you. You touch that girl, I'll kill you. You'd be dead already except for me. God forgive me. If I could kill my own Ma, I could kill anybody. He's a vicious. Murdering psychopath. Either you do what he says or you wind up dead. I guess you, you gotta start being nice to me. 
You think you can do that? I think so. Are you sure? I'm sure. Then maybe it'd be better if she were dead. Kim Darby, Scott Wilson. The Grissom Gang. The Grissom Gang. It's a love story. In a way. Sun team since the Frankensteins. Dad? Hmm? Do you think words corrupt? I don't know. Uh, then let's try. Agnes? Yes? Nipple. Damn keen guy, isn't he? Bloody keen. Damn fine chap. He's bloody keen, too. Aye, uh, quick kill. That's the name of the game. For God's sake, guys. What, what, what's going on? In, in God's name, stop it! Now for a good, clean kill. I have it on the best of authority that Ringo Starr is the magic Christian. Can't we settle our differences amicably? No, son, no. <laughs> Some bird told me that Peter Sellers is the magic Christian. You need not need the plastic. I just wanted to see if you had your price. Most of us do. Oxford, can you hear me? I mean, you've actually come I here to offer us money to interfere with the race. Come out immediately. Yes, that's right. You should realize, sir, that Oxford men cannot be bought. Here, here. Yeah. You want it, here it is. Come and get it, but you better. What evil lurks in the heart of man? The magic Christian do. In, out, in, out. What's going on? What is going on? What's happening? What's happening? Shouldn't we tell them the real identity of the magic Christian? Heaven only knows, son. Heaven only knows. The magic Christian is a miraculous conception. has a message. Watch out! Watch out for 100 rifles. Watch out for Jim Brown. What is your name? I'm Lyndecker. Policeman. Watch out for... Raquel Welch. I am your woman for as long as you want to be. Watch out for 
Burt Reynolds. You saw all them engines hung up like a side of a beef? After all the trouble we went through to get them rifles? Look, I spent 15 years in the 9th Cavalry, keeping the law and chasing bad Indians. But this one ain't my business, it ain't my fight, and it ain't my job. We should have killed him. <laughs> Watch out for Fernando Lamas. Mr. Sheriff, by the time I'm through with you, you'll be ready to tell me everything I want to know. Jim Brown and Raquel Welch, two of the hottest stars today, trigger the screen's most explosive action. I'm sorry you got mixed up in this. You ain't half as sorry as me. They destroy an army. Sabotage a train. They capture a town. They fight with every dirty trick in the book. And they're the heroes of this picture. sea to challenge the unknown when the forces of nature erupt the ocean floor opens up hurling five men and one woman 15 miles straight down to a place that exists on no map and yet holds the key to man's future latitude zero where the past merges with the present to predict the future. The Alpha launched June 21st, 1805. Since you've questioned everything, I don't expect you to believe there's so much of anything else you're about to see. I am 204 years old. is northeast of you and course for latitude zero. Those are torpedoes. Sage missiles. Well, do something, will you? Latitude Zero Good battles evil, using the incredible weapons of tomorrow. Activate your elevation belt. I've seen pictures of the moon that looked a lot more inviting. Right. Say, Captain, you ever been here before? First time. Well, that's great. How do we find Dr. O'Connor? We'll have to search. Could be in that tower. Live an adventure beyond your wildest imagination as mankind fights for its very survival. Share every exciting moment of the incredible world of Latitude Zero where man's future explodes 15 miles beneath the earth. Hi, I'm Joan Rivers and I'm here editing my movie Rabbit Test. I just love editing because you can control your film and develop your bust at the same time. Want to see some scenes? Take a look, sailor. Why don't I just finish the cigarette and, uh, we'll go inside. Rabbit Test is a movie about an innocent man's first love. 
me. You really know how to turn a guy off, Jackie. And his reactions to everyday situations. Nice talking to you. <laughs> we'll meet his sensitive and understanding mother. Are you a fairy? His own pastor. I'm Jewish. Can I still go in? Of course. Just don't pray. And his friends. Uh, may I go to the bathroom? Of course. Okay. Oh, it's been very nice meeting all of you. Go! Go now! Oh, by the way, Rabbit tested a movie about the world's first pregnant man. I'm what? You're pregnant! Surprise! Also his gynecologist. Mr. Minoza thinks he's pregnant. <laughs> And the President of the United States. There'll be no trick or treating tonight. Wait. Oh. Hold it. I can't go on. I have been sitting here trying to tell you about the new picture, and there has been a sicko in the front row the whole time, sitting there with a raincoat on his lap. I, I cannot work under such conditions. Will somebody please get the usher and this sicky person thrown out? Will you please just get me the usher? Oh, he is the usher. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Come on, honey, let's go backstage and bring your, your big flashlight with you. What the hell? Somewhere in Europe it begins, the hunt for Marenkov, the hunt that no one must know about. Robert Shaw is Marenkov, top Russian secret agent. Lee Marvin is Wargrave, top American secret agent. Together they are running for their lives on the Avalanche Express. Why is Marenkov on the run? And why is Wargrave running with him? Every available Soviet secret agent in Europe has been ordered to stop them. And still they run across Europe, watching, waiting. Why? What is their game? Where are they headed? Will they be stopped? Why would Marenkov, the head of the Russian secret police, defect? Or is this the most masterful double cross in history? Lorimar presents Robert Shaw, Lee Marvin, Linda Evans, Maximilian Schell, Mike Connors, Joe Namath, Horst Buchholz, in a Mark Robeson film, Avalanche Express. Produced and directed by Mark Robeson. Screenplay by Abraham Polanski. Avalanche Express. time from beyond the outer limits of your imagination he's the master of the flying guillotine and he's ready to blow your mind with more nerve-shattering special effects than you have ever seen before it's a trip into a world where warriors from the ends of the universe meet in combat that knows no boundaries. A world where silent soldiers of death try everything in their power to conquer the most gruesome weapon ever conceived. See special visual effects filmed entirely in Super Cinevision as the master of the flying guillotine encounters the most amazing creatures in this or any world. As he experiences the most spectacular adventures the mind can imagine.
the master of the flying guillotine. Roger Vadim, the French director who uncovered Bardot, now presents his tribute to the high school girls of America. <laughs> Oceanfront High is a model school with an enthusiastic faculty, a responsive student body, and real team spirit. Too bad about the dead cheerleader in the second floor, John. Mr. Popper! Was she raped, Captain? <laughs> You caught me. And I understand that you've uh, turned down a couple of offers to teach at university. Because I believe this is, as they say, where it's at. I really want you. Well, now, if we started doing that with our students, who knows where it would lead? Well, we'd certainly get to know them better. But some teachers might do it for pleasure. Yes, I suppose there could be some, some whistling while we work. Uh, Hans, are you undressing me? Oh, no, Miss Smith. I must have accidentally. Hans, don't hurt me. On the football field? Oh, oh. Dynamite. Has anyone made any unnatural sexual overtures to you? Oh, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> Hi, Coach. John, how are you? Fine. And you? Say, John, would you mind turning off that light? I'm Miss Smith, substitute teacher. Is there anything at all I can do for you? All right, everybody stop cramping on the evidence. Hi, Tiger. My little sweet shortcake snack. <laughs> Pretty maids. All Because this is Gordon Kong with you along at it is Showtime! Company presents Record City. Go, 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 a cinematic supermarket of song with a lot of strange folks to help you along. Home wreckers, disco techers, detectives, defectives, gropies, groupies, chicks, chicklets, jive talkers, street walkers. And who could forget the customers? <laughs> oh, record city, baby. Mr. Field, Mr. Field, baby, call on me. Okay, uh, but no kinky stuff. What are you talking about? Six. Come again? I want to make love to you. Oh, thank you very much. You're very kind. No! Ruth Buzzy, Michael Callan, Jack Carter, Rick Dees, Kinky Friedman, Alice Ghostly, Joe Higgins, Larry Storch, and Frank Gorshin as the rabbi, and Frank Gorshin as the great white hunter, and Frank Gorshin as the chameleon. Ah! 
in Wreckage City, the movie with the message to the world from music lovers everywhere. Throw up. Go for it. Stick it in your ear. Come back here and say that again. Hollow it out. It makes a hell of a hash pipe. Ciao, baby. So ease on down to the store with more and get your laughs off at the nitty gritty Record City. Black magic in the greatest battle of all time. As the seven brothers and their one sister meet Dracula. Drink the blood of the virgins and turn them into zombies. You haven't seen Kung Fu until you've seen the seven brothers and their one sister in action against Dracula. and their one sister meet Dracula. I want this ring smashed, and I don't care how the hell you do it. Just do it. In the final bloodbath of the martial arts. The head of a uniquely evil family of men. Men who live by a code of hatred, violent action, unspeakable crime. And sudden death. Somebody has gone to a great deal of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> 
You realize you're about to die. <laughs> you know your brain's going to atrophy using that opium. It's about gone now, only you don't realize it. Godly father of them all. Rated R. Don't ask us who we are or where we come from. Our only purpose is death. <laughs> now, one after the other, the rest of you will die. <laughs> There will be darkness, damnation, and a meaningless death. We know your secret. We read your mind. You can never run from it. You can never hide from it. It's the breath-stopping panic of... Seizure. Rated PG. Do you need a lift? Are you waiting for that big break? How about some new kicks? You'll get them all from the wildest bunch of far-out superheroes who ever came your way. Super Stooges versus the Wonder Women. Make way for the Wonder Women, meanest mamas of them all. When they go on a rampage, nobody can stop them. Nobody but the Super Stooges. Raise this valley again, and none of you will leave it alive. Dharma, the immortal magician. Chang, the Chinese chopper. And Wu, the black Samson. See them flip out with their superhuman feet. They're incredible. Honorable partners, I think the time has come for us to get the hell out of here. They're invincible. Oh, you're the heaviest. If you manage to fly, then it'll be easy for me. They're impossible. If we stick together, there's no force in the world capable of being. That's the secret weapon of the Wonder Women that has the Super Stooges in deep trouble. It's a panorama of pandemonium as the Super Stooges fight back. See the barrage of the polo ball. See the blitzkrieg by firebombs. See the terrifying attack of the super tanks. Full speed ahead! They're people powered. Steer the old right! I can't steer to the right! I got a guy with a limp on the left! Move over, Hercules. Move over, Superman. Move over, Captain Marvel. The wildest bunch of superheroes you ever met are coming to your rescue. Don't miss the super amazing, super astounding Super Stooges versus the Wonder Women. Shortly before closing time, Ma Barker enters the bank, crosses to the security guard, the only one they've got. Now she'll station herself so that she can cover him. Clyde enters the bank, covers the rear. He'll deal with the customers when the time comes. Nobody gets in or out without dealing with Clyde. Bonnie comes in, crosses over there, and takes care of the bank officials at their desks. Pretty boy Floyd comes to this window, gets up on the counter, and deals with everybody at that end of the room. Babyface Nelson comes to this window and does the same thing with everybody at that end. Now Dillinger comes in. Dillinger has a note in his mouth. He crosses to teller window A. Not one of us is in that bank during the robbery. Oh, 
you bring my mailbox? Yeah. Okay. Go. Dillinger. This is a holdup. The Doberman Gang. Six Doberman pinchers trained to commit the most incredible caper ever conceived. The Doberman Gang. Six savage Dobies with a thirst for cold cash that leaves banks bone dry. The Doberman Gang. Bonnie and Clyde. Babyface Nelson. Ma Barker. Pretty Boy Floyd. John Dillinger. They ain't in it for the dog biscuit. High tailing it to their hideout. Who says you can't teach a new dog old tricks? <coughs> Clockwork canines. Trained to rip off banks with mechanical precision and rip up anybody who gets in their way. See the Doberman Gang bite the long arm of the law. The Doberman Gang. If you think getting into business is easy, just wait till you see Arnold's Wrecking Company. It's all about investments. Which in, in plain dollars and cents breaks down to about $680 Gross return on a $100 investment, right? High risk, but no depreciation. I use it if uh, we mix it with some really good dope. What do you mean, really good dope? That's the best stuff in the city. <laughs> so when supplies are lower than demands, business is brisk. And you too can be bullish on... In the rear of the truck, you will also notice there is approximately 236 pounds of processed... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as of 5.30 tonight, Arnold's Wrecking Company has sold 10,000 lids. Marijuana, 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 marijuana. Arnold's Wrecking Company, the dopiest comedy of all time. You know where Jim is? The gym? Yeah, if we come to town with the gym and it, just let me out of the gym. Because I gotta start working out. You know what I wish? What? Somebody asked me what I wish. Okay, what do you wish? I wish that we'd all be happy and, and be friends and have good luck. Damn it, I'm trying to score points for you and you're trying to take my chick from me. Yeah, well, uh, she ain't your chick, you know that? This hell ain't your chick. Big lover. <laughs> I knew you'd get yourself in trouble. <laughs> well, you can get yourself in trouble. Why can't I get myself in trouble? Hey, because I can get myself... Never to make no promises. I bet you think that I make out really good, huh? Well, I don't. I don't. I don't make out good. You know those girls? You think I don't know their dogs? You know, sometimes when drunk, I, I really think that they're princesses. And I wake up and I'm just.
just pigs. I just feed you like pigs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta keep moving, moving, moving. Honey, gotta keep moving right along. I'm on a one night stand gal tomorrow. By this time I will be gone. I'm gone, honey. Your daddy done gone. After the ultimate war comes the ultimate warrior. After the last world wars have almost wiped man off the earth with food disappearing, water scarce, and all machines stopped, one lone band of survivors huddles behind walls of debris under the leader they call the Baron. I went up on the roof. Give him to the street people. Looking at your people, I get a feeling they figure they won't last very long. I've been looking for a man who would combine several attributes. You're a fighter. The man they call Carrot. I saw him through your binoculars. We introduced ourselves. He's tough. He's a good organizer. He can call on 30, 40 men if he has to. He should be able to take you over, wipe you out. Probably. But I don't think he knows how few people we have left. There's only one man who can get through the roving street people. This is the ultimate warrior. If it comes to saving one or the other, save the seats. <laughs> Screens have made familiar. Lift off. But now, in this split second of time, you can share an adventure unlikely to be repeated in our lifetime. A journey to the far side of the sun. Over 100 million miles from Earth, hidden from the eyes of radio telescopes by the sun itself. A new planet in our solar system. So new, so different. You will see nothing on Earth like it. A motion picture that rockets you into the supercharged world of the 21st century. You are taken out of this world to bring you face to face with your inquisitors. It takes six weeks to travel to the new planet and return. You were gone three weeks, so you turned back. We did not turn back. Why? 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 Questions that can only be answered from the far side of the sun. Get out. 
the hell are you doing? I think I was on the wrong side of the road. Everything's the wrong way round. Why? 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 Ian Henry, project director. Roy Thinnes, the astronaut. Patrick Weimark, project controller. 700. Fire retros. Hurry. 750. Jason. 850. Now. Retros. This is a private screen of what happens behind the scenes to those who reach beyond the good planet Earth. You're subjected to radiation effects and that's why we can't have children. Lynn Loring, Loni von Friedel, Herbert Long. Share the unseen, unknown sights. The far side of the sun. Why? 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 History's most bloodthirsty entertainment was pursued by the Romans, who taught the world how to fight. They enslaved the most sensuous women to titillate the perverted pleasures of the Roman public. Pam Greer, defiant and untamed. I am a Maui. Margaret Markov, determined and proud. No! I am Bodisha. Unchained wild women, their beautiful bodies shaped into superb fighting equipment in the arena. Those are Roman citizens. They own the world. Romans are pigs. Women stripped of their dignity, piece by piece. The Romans have taught you to live like an animal. The Romans called it sport, but the arena was an orgy factory, spewing forth untamed desires and violence. as slaves, fight as gladiators, and love on command. Come to see the women fight! Gladiator women who live, fight, and kill to please the blood-howling mobs. We who are about to die? Salute you! <coughs> freedom! Proud, defiant, and ready to kill for freedom. Bloody and barbaric, corrupt and sensuous, the ultimate spectator sports in the arena. We all fear. That's what they want. That men should fight and die seems natural. Savage fighters sold into an orgy of Roman pleasures. But the women... He'll free the winner. The price of freedom in the arena. One of them must die. Only the loser will be free. Driven by fear, consumed by hatred, desperate to be free. I'm going to be free my way. Black slave, white slave, fighting for their lives in the arena. The Arena, from New World Pictures, in Technicolor, rated R.